Michael, I got your request asking for a comparison of the Ergotron WorkFit S to the Victor DC350. Let's get started by showing you how these two machines work. First, the Victor. With the Victor, you turn a knob, it loosens the desk. You push it down, and then if you let go, it comes back up until you get it to the height you like. Turn the knob, it stays in place, no more movement. Ergotron WorkFit S has a counterbalance system. You just simply push it up and down and let it stop where you want it. Both these products come with a great advantage, and that is a dual monitor holder standard with each product. Let me show you how the Victor works. As you can see, the, mon the monitors can be rotated and panned and tilted all these different directions. And there's two of them that go together up to 22 inches wide. If you want to raise or lower the height in comparison to the desk, you turn the knob, loosen it, let it go again, tighten it where you want it, you're back in business. Okay, the Ergotron WorkFit S, the monitor height can be adjusted also. You push down on the monitors, and then you can pull up on the monitors as well to the height. These do rotate, but they do not pan and they do not tilt. While we're on the subject of monitors, I'd like to point out a couple of advantages the Victor has in terms of adjustability. First of all, the range of height difference for Victor is about 12 inches. For Ergotron, about four and a quarter inches. And by that I mean the difference between the highest and lowest position of the monitors. Another difference is the maximum height of the monitors. The top of this monitor on the Victor can go to 73 inches. On the Ergotron, 63 and a half inches. When using a standing desk, there's two things to keep in mind that are really important. One is the height of the desk, and the other is the height of the monitors. That's the most important thing for your ergonomics. The Victor has a slight advantage over the Ergotron. The maximum desk height is 15 and a half inches off the desk. And then over here, the Ergotron, 14 and a half inches from the table. When it comes to the monitor height, the main thing to keep in mind is that you would like your eyes to be roughly at the top of the monitor. And as you can see, I'm six feet tall. This is all the way up for me on the Ergotron. My eyes are a little bit above, and that means that my head's gonna be tilted down every, the whole day when I'm working. With the Victor, I have more than enough room for adjustability. Right now it's at eye level. I could go even higher if I needed to. Another key difference between Victor and Ergotron, the Victor is not mounted to the desk. It has a gravity-based system with a heavy steel plate. There's felt pads in the bottom. This entire uh, mechanism can be moved around on the desk anytime you'd like. And the Ergotron uses a clamp method. There's a clamp underneath the desk that fits it here. And once it's in position, you're not gonna move this. Until you've been using one of these standing desk products, you might not realize that this flexibility of moving is actually worth a lot. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say someone comes into your desk in your office and you want to talk to them, you want to show them what you're working on, something I do all the time, and I want to show them what's on my computer screen. The best thing I can do with the Victor, I can turn my whole desk around with a one slight push. They can see everything that I'm working on. I can start collaborating and sharing my work. Another thing is, if I don't want to do that, I can at least turn one of the monitors over and let them look at that one monitor. I know we do that a lot here in our office. And then last of all, I find myself just simply moving the entire uh, system away. If I want to have a, a big surface to work on for a short period of time, sit and read and spread some papers out, it's really helpful to have that flexibility of moving the desk around. And as you can see with the Ergotron, none of those options exist. You've got a fixed monitor, you've got a fixed uh, desk, you can't move it. One of the unintended consequences of the Ergotron WorkFit S design is this forward positioning of the product. With the clamp here and your keyboard out here, you've got about 12 inches between the edge of the keyboard and the edge of your desk. And this can be even more depending on where you put the keyboard. And then what you see is all of this area behind here is really not useful anymore. It's really hard to work here and do something over here in this area. And you certainly lose all of the area back here behind the product. For people in a small office or a cubicle, this offset is really important to think about because if you have a, a wall behind you, right here behind your chair, you don't really have enough flexibility to move around very much. And uh, as you can see, I put the phone in the calculator where I would normally have it on my desk. And if the phone's ringing and I have to reach for it, it's really hard to get to it. As you can see, if I'm gonna reach for something over here, it's quite a stretch. 
So you really do lose a lot of desk space with this orientation. One of the things I've learned about ergonomics is that the most comfortable position for your arm to be in when you're doing a repetitive task is to have your elbow near your side and your forearm parallel to the ground. And that's why it's really comfortable here to have this keyboard about that height for me. But if I have to reach up here and write, if I'm going to do any extended writing, uh, there's really not as much flexibility when I have my keyboard in the right place and I want to do some writing. Now I've got to sort of lift up and reach down and uh, that's not as comfortable. When you're typing and writing at the same time on the Victor, you're more on an even uh, playing field here. You've got your mouse, your keyboard, and now when you're writing, it's an easy uh, move of the arm to get that done. So more comfortable than the Ergotron. One thing I noticed after using the Ergotron work that S for a few hours is that the workstation tends to creep down slowly with every movement. By that I mean, let's say I type a little hard once, twice, you can see it's moving down. Maybe I lean on it for a minute, it moves down a little bit more. It's sort of like a creeping motion. And then every once in a while I need to pull it back up to where I want to be to do my work. There's no locking mechanism. Now you can increase the tension so that it's harder to push down, but then it's also harder to pull up. With the Victor, you've got the locking knob, so the height doesn't change once you get to where you want to be. It's going to stay in that same position. And if you want even more stability, the Victor comes with a stabilizer bar, which easily fits underneath the desk, and then it makes it even more stable than you had before. We recommend this for people that really want to lean on their desk. Some people like to use their notebook computer as a third monitor when they're at work. And as you can see with the Victor, you have the flexibility of doing that. The monitors can be moved out of the way. There's enough room on the work surface to go ahead and do that. If you try to do this on the Ergotron, you can still fit your, uh, your laptop, but as you can see, you're starting to cover up some of the monitors. Value, of course, is important. You need to feel like you're getting a great product in relation to the uh, price you're paying. And of course, uh, there's a lot of different prices out there, but let's just start with the list price. What I have here is the list price of the Ergotron WorkFit S. As you can see, it's $945. The Victor list price is $524.99. So a much different cost position. Okay, Michael, uh, I think we went over all the different uh, features and benefits of these two products. Uh, just to summarize, I want to point out a couple things again. First of all, the adjustability of the monitor with the Victor is substantially more flexible. Second, you've got this big one-piece work surface versus the Ergotron with the two. The benefit of the two, of course, is your keyboard can go below the desk. That doesn't happen with the Victor. That's a trade-off you're going to have to make. And then uh, last of all, it's the position of the Ergotron in front of the desk versus the Victor with its flexibility to be moved pretty much anywhere you want it to be anytime you want to move it. That's also a big difference. All right, so hopefully that explains it. If you got any questions, give me a call.